set the hook because I thought he had it. There he is. Come on, eat it. Now I got him. Well, I'm here fishing this pond, I believe, for the first time ever in the morning. I think every time I've fished this pond before, it's been in the evening. So anyway, today I'm here for the first time ever in the morning, I believe. And I'm going to try to get on a big fish, of course. That's always my goal wherever I go, but at this pond in particular, I'm still in that search for a true monster out of here. I've caught a pretty big one, about a six-pounder. But I think an even bigger one lives in here, so I'm looking for that sucker. Pretty much every time I fish out of here now. I mean, I'm not ungrateful. I'll definitely take a mess of uh, good ones. Or even just a couple of good ones, really. But anyway, I'm always looking for that giant out here. Oh, 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 golly. There was a fish waking over to my bait right there, but he ran out of room. He saw it too late. I'm gonna try to throw a little closer to him and see if he'll come out and eat it. Oh, there went another fish that just went away from my bait. Come on, dude, come at it again. Oh, there he comes. Oh, golly. There's a fish up there. Just waking on my bait, but he's not eating it. The only bait that I have that sits still for him to eat it really is this this little tiny frog that I've got tied on this little dock demon. It's gonna be a heck of a fight if I get him hooked up over all this grass, but let's try it, I guess. Here we go. Oh. There it was. There was the bite. Missed him on this little tiny frog. The hookup ratio on this thing is not good. Especially on a little rod like this. I know that going into it. Let's see if I can get him to eat it again. He's under it, there he is. I ah! think he had it, but ah, I just can't hook him on this thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There was a little one. Try to pick him up with a little pocket frog. There he was. Golly. I cannot hook him on this setup. This frog and this rod and this line and everything. This is crazy. Oop. Oop. Wow. That fish is all over it. I think that was another little dude. I just 
throw the pocket frog at him and see what happens. Probably get bit and not land him. It's my guess. Oop, there he is. Oh, yep. And there he goes again. Hooked that one for a second. Just lost him. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, there's a better one there. Oh, no! He broke me off. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Just sheared off right on his teeth, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Line is frayed bad. I don't know if I'm going to throw this rod in here anymore. Not with this line on it. I need to get some braid put on there before I start throwing it in places like this. I don't want to break baits off and fish like that. That's not good. Well, I haven't had any more bites on this frog. Or on this rage toad, I should say. Had a couple more little follows, but that's about it. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a hollow belly walking frog here. I'll go ahead and throw this little bit smaller one. Since I had that nice fish eat that little tiny pocket frog earlier. They might be keying in on a little smaller bait for some reason. Caught some really nice fish on this frog anyway, so I know the big ones eat it. There's one. Oh no. Golly. And now that one comes off. There he is. Thought he missed it, but he had it. I don't think it's that good of a fish. Let's see. No, it's not a bad one. It's not the kind I'm looking for, but not a bad one to start out with, I guess. Definitely not for a little neighborhood pond bass. That one's a little on the skinny side. But that was a nice blow up, nice fight in the grass. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm paddling out more towards the main part of the pond now. After not getting bit back there at all. And I'm thinking about changing baits. Or not thinking about changing baits, I am gonna change baits. I'm thinking about going to a I'll pop R for my top water just to throw in the real open stuff. And then I'm actually thinking about going to a big old 8 inch lizard for my other presentation to toss in these holes. A weightless lizard actually. Weightless Texas rig. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to stop right here and tie both those on. fish eat it eat it oh come on golly just went right up to it but didn't eat it wow it's a pretty nice one too Sweet. I 
saw that fish come from out there, just cruising up into this pocket. <laughs> Fished right over there in front of him. He swam over there and ate it like he was supposed to. Sorry to put a little owie on your noggin there, bud, but that was fun. That's a little, little chunky one. He's got some scars all over him. He's had a rough life so far, but goodness gracious, that was... <laughs> That was a fun catch there. Thank you, buddy. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, oh no. He tried to eat it. Did he miss it? I don't know what happened. Golly, that's a good one though. Could have sworn he ate it. He swiped at it and then just turned and swam away. Set the hook because I thought he had it. There he is. Come on, eat it. Now I got him. There we go. Oh yes. Oh yes. That was sweet. Oh, he came back and ate it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a day. No big ones, but gosh, some cool stuff is going on. Jeez. It's the second decent one I've caught standing up in my kayak, too. Haven't really given a, a good stand-up test to this thing yet. It's doing pretty good to me. The troll car stuck him through there. Gosh. That was fun fish. I saw him come out and swipe at it and miss it. Then he came out and ate it. That's another good fish. I'll definitely take those all day. Thought he was a little better than that, but I'll take it. Thank you for playing, sir. Well, I think that's about it. I don't think it is about it. I'm gonna call it a day right there. It's about 11 o'clock. Had a pretty good little morning here. Not a whole lot of fish, but had some cool bites and fun fights, that's for sure. 